ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel and for this video we're actually going to be having a little bit more fun using captain marvel we're gonna run a couple dps and survivability comparisons comparing the previous uniform to the new one that she got for avengers endgame and this should be a very interesting comparison because both uniforms will have exactly the same stats and we'll get to see just how much damage is coming from the new skill change in addition to the uniform bonus on this uniform right here because she's getting an additional 15% increase to her damage when she's up against super villains and today we're going to test her in world boss ultimate just in case you guys don't want to buy her simply for timeline battle which you should because she is the new timeline meta and if you want to guarantee yourself 200 to 220 crystals every single week via timeline battle she's definitely going to be a must-have for your team okay and she's never banned right soon enough they're probably going to start banning her right because she's so op but right now she's never been banned so it's perfect to have her on your team because you have access to her every single week but that's a topic for a whole nother video we're going to focus on how she does in war boss ultimate today and the cool thing about carol is her tier 2 passive increases the duration and the effects of buffs buffs guys all buffs increases the effect of the buff and the duration of the buff and that's really interesting because her uniform is offering 15 percent more damage to super villains and that means this is also going to be increased by the tier 2 passive right so this 15 is going to go up to like 18 percent so it should be a pretty noticeable increase in damage when you're comparing them even though they have the exact same stats so for today we're going to jump into world boss ultimate and we're going to test her out against the two bosses that i genuinely struggle to keep her alive against and that's actually Cull obsidian and thanos obviously right so we're going to start off with thanos we're going to run stage 25 here and the goal is just to push them down to about half hp and see which uniform does it the fastest and which one takes the least amount of damage to get there so this should be interesting boys we're not going to use any strikers we're just going to focus on her raw damage output now for the most part i'm just going to play here exactly the same in both uniforms I'm just going to go five four two three four kind of missed the proc there because i needed a guard because this guy is going to keep targeting me even when i'm in that skill Okay, nice. That was a good proc. Okay, please don't land in front of him. And of course, we land in the poison. See, this is probably going to take me a little bit longer than it takes most of you guys who have a CTP of Rage or a CTP of Energy Honor. Because obviously, those are the best PvE CTPs. But I see no point in changing the destruction that I have on her because she's so dominant with it. I gotta get out of that poison. Oh, come on, big guy. Don't play with me. This guy loves to hide. Nice. That was a good amount of damage there. Oh, boy. We're gonna land right whew, in that tornado. That was sad. And then the poison... In addition to oh come on really this guy bro <laughs> this guy just loves to hide man bro you're the big bad panel stop hiding like a coward what's wrong with you you know what fury i don't want to end up having you die but it doesn't matter because we're not going to complete this we're just going to see that's how much damage she can do. She's actually taking a while here. Ah, oh, come on, bro. This guy. Okay. I can't even see him. <laughs> that stupid meteor was blocking everything. I couldn't even see. Oh, boy. If my guard gets... Okay. Whoo, that was real, real bad. We are in a little bit of trouble, but we're coming up to the 
checkpoint so we're there we go okay so how long did that take okay so two minutes and 39 seconds left let's try that with the other uniform and see if we can do it any faster and she almost died so yeah glass cannon definitely in this uniform yeah let's uh change to this bad boy and i know a lot of you guys hate it but i think it looks freaking awesome i don't know why you guys hate it All right, let's see how much faster we can do this thing. Nice. Okay, so it only took us two rotations to push him in this phase this time. Yo, that proc though, late as hell. Ah, oh, come on, this guy. You're too annoying. I guess he was being annoying when I was using the other uniform too, so... He has to be equally as annoying both times, and the proc just doesn't want to be cooperative. Whew, that was a lot of damage there on the third. Let me use the tier 3 just to get it out of the way. Yeah, that third hitting real hard, bro. That third's actually hitting real hard. Ooh, something's at my feet. Not good, not good, not good. Not good. Holy smoke, that was a lot of damage on the third there. Okay, this is bad. If the guard is not protecting me, I will definitely... Whew, I was going to say die. So what was that? So 3 minutes and 14 seconds compared to the 2 minutes and 39 seconds we had with the previous uniform. So almost 30 seconds difference between the two uniforms. Okay, boys. So yeah, it's definitely noticeable. And we're going to take her in and put her up against Call Obsidian. We'll go with this uniform first and then we'll show the other one as well. And let's see what the difference looks like between them. Yo, the longer iframe on the three, whoo, too clutch, bro. Too clutch. Like, only thing hitting me right now is the poison, right? Because that just spawns under your feet. And as soon as the iframe ends, like, you come out and you just get hit by it. Whoo. I'm being super reckless because I want to see just how fast we can push him. Okay, he's not going to, is he not going to go in his next phase? Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay, so under a minute, guys. Let's try out the uh, other uniform. So 44 seconds. Let's try out the other uniform and then I'll send you guys on your way. Now, I'm going to try to play as aggressively as I did in the other uniform but the third skill on this uniform is not as safe so i'm definitely gonna take some bleed damage see like whew, the third skill ends sooner so i can't just whew, stay up in his face Come on. Keep clapping him. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Come on, girl. There you go. That's good. <laughs> the guard protected me. Whew. Let's 
So we've definitely lost. We've definitely lost. But it's not as big a gap as it was against Thanos. So we'll stop right there because this is around where we were. So it looks like on this particular stage, the difference is not as noticeable, but it's definitely noticeable when you look at where my HP is compared to where it was with the other uniform. So with the new uniform, you're definitely getting more survivability with the longer iframe on the third, in addition to the damage reduction, right? And she also gets more damage, obviously. So anyways, boys, we're gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just wanted to give you guys another look at Captain Marvel's new uniform compared to the previous one, because I know not everybody is gonna wanna buy this uniform just for PVP, right? Because there's only one real PVP game mode in Marvel Future Fight. But anyways, man, thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything else you guys want to see with Carol or any of the other characters, please feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I'll catch you guys in the next one.